Welcome to this tutorial on how to use the sum product in Excel. We're going to use this function for finding the weighted average. Right here I have a 2016 January sales report. Looks like we have a team on East and a team West and this company they sell looks like fuel products, ethanol, gasoline and diesel. Here are some profits and here is the gallon sold on each of those and then we have a calculated formula here which is just profits divided by gallons to get our cents per gallon profit we're going to use the sum product to find the weighted average for the month you can't just highlight this and look at the bottom where it says average 0 0.041 because this doesn't account for our gallons right here we have 13 cents profit per gallon which is the highest in the list however there's only 25,000 gallons sold so overall this is actually going to be a very small weight a weighted average looks like this so we would take our gallon one sale multiply the, the cents per gallon of that sale plus gallon sold two multiplied by cents per gallon two plus three etc all over the total gallons and in Excel it's gonna look like this equals some product parentheses our gallons multiplied by our cents per gallon profit over the sum of all the gallons. So in cell H4, we're going to type equals sum product, and it says array 1, 2, 3. It does not matter what order we do this in. So we're just going to do this for array 1 and array 2 gallons. And we want to make sure the list is the exact same length for both of these. Close the parenthesis out, and then we're going to divide by the sum of all the gallons. As you can see here, our total average uh, cents per gallon in January was 3.25 cents. And now we can actually take this a step further and we can find out what's the cents per gallon for just the team that's on the west and then the team that's on the east and it's gonna look a little different so follow along equals some product parenthesis parenthesis and we're gonna do what we did before so gallons cents per gallon and this comma that we did before we're actually gonna have to use the the multiply sign. Close the first parenthesis out and then we're gonna multiply by our criteria which is going to be over here we have our teams so we're gonna highlight this column equals and then we could just type in west or we can say it equals right here close that parenthesis now close the total parenthesis and you can see that it turned black so we just close out of the sum product and then divide by the sum if and it's going to ask us for a range so we want to do our range which is our criteria east or west criteria again just equal to west and our sum range, the range we want to sum are the gallons. Close that parenthesis, hit enter. 2.8. The reason we use the sum if formula and not just sum of total gallons, we're not we're not using all the gallons anymore for our weighted average formula. We're only using the ones for the west. So I don't want to add up any of the east columns. Excuse me, any of the east gallons. and what I'm gonna do actually is make sure these are absolute values so I can just drag this formula down and to do the absolute formula it's just F4 I have a cell reference video on that and then control D and as you can see the East has to be more than the West because the total average is higher than the West Now we could take it a step further and actually do 
two criteria. So we got the team that's on the West Coast and just gasoline. What is their cents per gallon? It's going to be fairly similar to what we did before. So some product, two parentheses. Again, we have our gallons and we have our cents per gallon. Close the first parenthesis out. Oops. Remember, whenever we're going to do criteria, we have to do a multiply here. And criteria one, let's just say it's west. So this equals, I'll just type it, I'll just type it out this time, west. Equals gasoline. Close it again. It turned black, so we close out of that function. And now we're going to have to use the sum ifs formula. Because now we have two criteria, so we have to use the sum ifs, plural, because the sum if just assumes that there's one criteria. Our sum range, gallons. Criteria range one, we'll do the team. Criteria. West, comma, criteria two, product, criteria two, gasoline, looks good, hit enter, 2.88 cents per gallon, I'm going to attach this spreadsheet below and you can actually practice with a couple different uh, criteria that you want to do. And I created this little tool down here so you can select which ones. And it's going to bring up the formula. Or excuse me, it's going to bring up the solution right here. And it matches so I know I did this right. We can change this to east and just check it out. So we'll try, we'll see what east gasoline team did 4.3 right on